Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram as El Ducho Thrift. Um, today I'm here with another Goodwill outlet haul. I've already forgotten how many pounds it was. Shoot, I wonder if my receipt's in here. I'll find it and I'll put it in the title. So we'll figure out how many pounds this was. But I got a mix of clothing, accessories, and a little bit of shoes. I think oh, I think I bought like maybe one or two toy items. Um, I went on Saturday with some friends. I'm um, trying to remember every the, everybody that I went with. Okay, I went with my friend Ty, Hillary, Brittany, Liz, Janelle, Nicole. I'm like, am I forgetting anyone? Because that's lame if I forgot anyone. Yeah, I think that was everyone. Man, if I forgot you, I'm a piece of poop. So I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, we had a really great time. Um, we probably spent about like three hours. I spent about three hours there. And then I just started to get really tired. Um, it, there was good stuff. You just get so spoiled at the Seattle bins because they're so good that even good stuff, you're like, I want something better. I know that sounds terrible, but that's just how the game is. You're like, you're always trying to find something better. So, um, anyways, I just was starting to get worn down and I was ready to peace out. So I think I left around like 1.30 or something. Um, but I still got a lot of stuff, which is great. Um, I hope I'm not yelling. I have had some feedback from people saying that they couldn't hear me as well. And I actually have a fan going in the background right now because this light that I'm using gets really warm. So I need something to kind of counteract the temperature. Um, but anyways, uh, I hope I'm not yelling. And if I am, just turn the volume down. So, all right. Uh, I might move my pillows here so I can set some stuff over here. I've got my dogs joining me, so you know how it is. If they start talking, I apologize. I think I have all the clothes here. <laughs> oh, there's a bag over there, so I will have to get up and move. I didn't realize that I didn't pull it close enough, but it'll only be for a split second. Um, okay, so the first item, nothing exciting. This is just a Nike Washington Huskies t-shirt. Um, I split the bags up into two separate groups of stuff that I had washed as opposed to things that maybe needed to be steamed. So anyway, um, okay, I got this Lucky Brand corduroy jacket with the faux Sherpa lining. I don't know what you call that. Um, this jacket totally reminded me of a coat I had in college um, that I wish it <laughs> still fit me. Um, I got a pair of Helly Hansen ski pants. I think these are women's. This is a great time of the year to be picking these up. But to be honest, I would pick these up year round. One, because Helly Hansen is a good outdoor wear brand. And one, I think I only have one point on that. <laughs> um, okay, this bathing suit. This one says the slim suit. I've never heard of the slim suit. Um, but I just thought it was a very flattering style with the ruching here down the middle and then kind of some fun 90s colors on it. Uh, let's see what I got. Um, okay, these are bar three and they're just some like maroon leggings. What do they call that? Ponte? 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 With the, the line down the middle here. Um, some good career pants. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Can you wear leggings to work? Some workplaces say that that's okay, and then some workplaces say it's not okay. Um, I got this. This is American Eagle Soft and Sexy. I didn't know they had a line called Soft and Sexy, but this thing is soft. I'll give that to them. It feels like LuLaRoe material, like that buttery. And then it's got cutouts just right here at the hips, so that is kind of sexy for a sexy little skinny person. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got this. I actually 
didn't think I picked this up, but I think in my mad scramble of just grabbing stuff I did. Um, it's not a bad brand, but it's just not something I would normally pick up. It's Caslon, which is a Nordstrom brand. Looks like it's like a three quarter sleeve little zip up. Yeah. Um, these are a pair of Adriana Goldschmied men's jeans. I don't know what the style is. The protege, it's a straight leg. So that's why I picked it up. They are in good condition. So there's those. What else? These are American Eagle stretch, like cropped little skinny pants. Um, this is a, I didn't pick it up for brand. In fact, I'm now wondering what brand this is or where it's from. But it's just a cute little vintage denim skirt. I feel like you can't go wrong with a little denim skirt. Um, and the brand is Cherokee. Where is that? Is that like Target, Kmart, Walmart? Who makes Cherokee? Uh, this is Not Your Daughter's Jeans, size large blouse. What else? This is just an American apparel t-shirt, black and white striped. I just thought it was cute. A little basic, you know? Um, these are, these need a sweater shave, but they're a pair of Vince Camuto, uh, like trousers, skinny trousers, possibly cropped, um, not cropped to the knee, but you know, just, uh, like ankle. They're pretty cute actually. Um, okay. These are a pair of PS Gitano, Gitano, sorry, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, I think don't know if they were originally meant to be shorts or if somebody cut them off to be shorts, but it's like this acid wash style. They're really cool and they got this embroidery on the pocket there. Um, there was some nasty staining on here. I won't go into the details, but uh, spray and wash helped me take care of it. So there's actually still like a little bit of a spot there. I could probably wash them again, but, but I'm not going to because I got the really nasty stains out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, um, I got, these are Carhartt shorts. Need to be straightened out there. There's a little string here that needs to be cut. But yeah, otherwise they're in good condition. They're still a little wrinkly. Carhartt, um, I only ever sold the coats. Um, and I can't remember what the style of coat is that people like, but I would just Google Carhartt jacket. Uh, and I think they're like wool lined. Those sell really well um, when I've had them in the past, usually around $50 plus shipping. So, um, and it's not just men who are wearing them and it's actually like hipster girls. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure men are wearing them as well. Okay, this is, oh, this was what um, my friend Ty, this was her, one of her throwbacks, but just a little Banana Republic blouse with this kind of little flutter sleeve. I just thought it was pretty. Um, these are just Ann Taylor Loft. Is it like, I think it's a boot cut. Khaki. Gray, kind of like a stone gray color. Um, this isn't anything special. I just bought it for style, but it's um, exhilaration. And it's kind of like a boho, was that paisley? I'm trying to see who backwards. Mm, not quite paisley. I don't know what, how you would describe the pattern. But anyway, it's just like a floral lace top. Um, these are a pair of Joe's jeans. I think my friend Brittany gave me these. The fit is the Brixton, which she said is really popular, which once she said that, uh, it reminded me that my husband actually wears these. Unfortunately, these are not his size. They are in pretty good condition. I'll probably just trim the little strings off the bottom. The Brixton, Joe's jeans, so there you go. Uh, these are a pair of Old Navy Rockstar jeans. Um, you know, just a little bread and butter brands here, but I don't mind picking these up for, you know, what does this cost me, 75 cents, and I can sell them for 10 to 20 bucks. 
Sounds good to me. Um, this is Old Navy. Just a cute top though. It's just black and white and it has this bell sleeve here. Isn't that cute? Actually, <laughs> I would keep it if it was my size. <clears throat> These are a pair of Prana brown cords, which if this was any other brand, I probably wouldn't buy, but because it's Prana, I will. Uh, it kind of looks like a straight leg. Uh, these are a pair of Kewel, 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 I don't know how you say it. Uh, I think these are men's shorts, size 32. Ooh, it's got somebody's name in here. The Crag series. I think they're in pretty good condition. I didn't see any spots or anything. Um, this is, gosh, I hope this zipper works. I didn't even look at it. Uh, up next is a North Face jacket. This is a quilted, lightweight, puffer, men's medium, North Face coat. Um, my friend Brittany gave me this again. Um, you're like thinking to yourself, why is Brittany so giving? Why is anyone so giving? Um, there's just some things, as I'm sure you know if you're a reseller, that you're just like, not excited to sell and Brittany said that to me which is like a school of thought I'm sure we've all had but Brittany said you know I'm not gonna list it if I'm not excited about it or I'm not gonna be you know she might list it but it's gonna maybe sit in a death pile or she's just not gonna feel motivated to do it so um, she passed it on to me because she knows that I'm motivated to sell just about anything um, which is mostly true I don't get the most excited about some stuff but if I know the comps are gonna be good on it, I'm gonna sell it cause, cause I like money. <laughs> um, this is a horny toad skirt, kind of like a, a outer wary type, you know, hiking skirt. Um, what are these? Oh, these are just a pair of torrid jeans. These are a size 14. Um, they are skinny leg there is a little bit of stretching right here in the crotch which I do disclose um, it's not a problem though because when you put these on generally the stretching will go away um, and you know even selling them at 10 to 20 dollars a piece you know I don't mind picking them up again because they cost probably like 75 cents right I'm paying like maybe a dollar a pound right and some jeans weigh around like 13 to 15 ounces so if I'm kind of doing my math correctly there okay this is a just an old navy dress but it's in really good condition I just thought it was pretty it reminds me of um what are, what's that little <laughs> that little thing that you pick up from the grass oh my gosh is, is it called a dandelion I want to say a dandelion yeah is it, <laughs> it's a dandelion right <laughs> but you know you pick it up and then you blow them right is this dandelion I don't know but it's just a pretty little stretching material it's kind of nice size extra large um this is another Nike I think this is a UW that's no, not UW it's just purple UW referring to University of Washington women's purple Nike top um let's see what else oh this is just a the brand is junk food and this is a Seattle Seahawks shirt like a vintage style um these are a pair of express jeans they're kind of like like a velvety material um and they are skinny skinny leg you see them Let's see. okay this yours okay now i'm remembering how many pounds all of this was it was like 50 for the clothing I don't know about the accessories I'll have to look at the accessories um these are a pair of Athleta like workout type pants this tag looks older so this just must be an older style um just like a cozy lounging at home this is interesting The you know what is this called <laughs> the hem oh okay I think they've been hemmed 
I was gonna say it felt thicker down here maybe they've been hemmed I'm not sure what do you think I mean like it kind kind of does but here let me hold it up thoughts there's a the stitching but I don't know I mean they did a nice job if they did hem these obviously I'll disclose that if we think that they've been hemmed. Please give your two cents. Okay, this is a Roots. If you're not familiar with this, this is a Canadian brand, Roots Canada. Um, feels like linen. Let's give it a look. Or cotton. Linen, 100% linen. Um, what size is this? Mm, that would not fit my husband. This is an extra, extra large. The print, I don't know what this print is. I was going to say it looked like continents, but they're kind of wonky continents. Um, but anyways, just uh, if you're not familiar with Roots, um, it's a Canadian brand. Sorry, my dog just looked up and he's looking out the window right now. Please don't bark. Calm yourself. Thank you. Um, it's a Canadian brand. I was going to like equate it to the gap but I feel like maybe that's not giving them enough credit I do think it is nicer than the gap maybe maybe a little nicer on the same level as like a banana republic definitely in terms of prices things do cost a little bit more um, being that I'm in Washington and very close to the Canadian border not that close but I'm close um, we do go up to Canada at least like once a year um, I love going up there and usually stop into a roots when I'm up there it is definitely a nicer brand so pick it up if you see it I'm not sure I think comps are good on it I would assume they make nice stuff and I know that they were a sponsor of the Canadian Winter Olympics a few years ago um I don't know if this is vintage but it is a champion UW phys ed I'm not sure if this is just like fan gear or if this was something that they actually like use in their gym program or whatever so you know I picked it up somebody will want that right uh, this like this needs a little sweater shave but it's just a J crew it's the black label so it is a newer item just a little camisole Okay, this is, I think Brittany gave me this also. This is, if I'm going to say it right, Architerix. I think it's a men's, just t-shirt. Um, oh, this is super cute. I didn't even check if it was my size, but I, I should. Just, just cause, right? Just like, just in case it's my size. Just product knowledge. Mm, I don't think it is. Um, this is a Torrid bathing suit like a retro style with the ruching on top and then it does have kind of this crisscrossy um, I have sold one other torrid bathing suit in my days and I think it sold for like maybe like $30 which is pretty good in my opinion for you know a pre-owned swimsuit so I'm gonna go grab the other bag bear with me for one second Okay, that was quick, right? Right, right, right. Um, okay, so this is a, still has the price tag on it. What is it? A vintage blazer. The brand is Carol Little. I'm not sure if that's a good brand, but I just really liked the print. Isn't this cool? Like, I'm not displaying it the best, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if there's any buttons or if it's just kind of like an open front, I think. Oh, look like, yeah, there is a button. There's one button. Cute. Oh, and then there's some pleating in the back. That's pretty. Okay, what else we got? This is, oh, um, this is Gap. It's a size 10 tall, the Academy Blazer. I actually own one of these, not in black, but this is a nice one. Um, in really good condition. Just needs a... What's it called? <laughs> Not a sweater shave, but a lint roll. Okay, this, um, at first I looked at the tag and I was like, what is this, Brittany? Um, it's Uniqlo. And I believe this is just a men's sweater. It 
the print is showing up kind of funky in the light. That's weird. It's kind of looking like silvery or metallic, but it's just got these like little gray dot speckles on it. This is a Calvin Klein blazer. Is it one button? Yep, one button. It does need a lint roll. Nope, two button. Uh, Nicole gave me this. Um, if you're curious who all these people are, I am referencing. I'll put their Poshmark closets in the description down below so you can go check out their stuff. Um, cause I know it's always interesting to be like, what are somebody's go backs? Like what is somebody throwing back? So if I'm taking their go backs, what do they have? Um, this is a, did somebody give me this? No, I think I found it. But if you gave it to me, tell me. Now I'm just thinking again about like, did I forget anybody's name? Brittany, Nicole, Janelle, no, pretty, pretty. Liz, Ty, Hillary. Did I say everyone? Oh my God. If I forgot somebody. I don't think I did. I'm sorry. Awkward pauses. Okay. Anyways, this is a Pendleton. Nice. Uh, I believe it's wool. Just pull over. Zip up. I believe it's a men's. Um, this is... A BB Dakota open front, like what do they call that? Waterfall wrap. This is a Talbot's pure merino wool in excellent condition sweater. This is a, you know what? That'd be a messed up drinking game if every time I said, this is a right? Like take a shot. Woo. We'd be messed up. Okay. So don't be, don't be doing that. <laughs> this is a gap, just little, uh, what do you call that? What's the word I'm looking for? Like a summer dress. Is that what you call them? <laughs> like, what are the, what are the key words that I'm thinking of? Um, this is a size 12 and it's got pockets. It's got pockets guys. Right? That's good. Uh, these are, <clears throat> Ty gave me these. They're really nice. They're a pair of Rock Revival. Um, are they men's or women's? They look like women's. Do they make men's? I'm sorry if I, I don't know that and that seems like a very obvious answer. Where's the size? Hello? Oh, 31. Victor Straight. I'm gonna guess that that's a men's, okay? Um, wow, props to you if you're a dude who wears like that much embellishments on your jeans. I think these are men's. I think. Don't roast me. Don't roast me in the comments, okay? Um, this is a Star Wars new with tags, little t-shirt, boys t-shirt. Isn't this cute? I wasn't gonna, I mean, it's new with tags. I wish I knew like a little 12 month old baby. I think I do. <laughs> if my friend is watching this, she's gonna know that I'm talking about her. I do know a 12 month old baby. We gonna put that in the pile for you guys. But I don't know if it's gonna fit your baby. So yeah, her baby just turned 12 months. <laughs> I don't know if she watches my videos, but if she does, she knows I'm talking about her. Okay, this, what the heck? Okay, this is a pretty, I think it's silk, but I'm not sure, I'll check. Um, vintage blouse. I believe Ty and I were looking in the same bin at the same time and I snatched it like a little turd, um, but she said I could have it. Uh, the brand is Michelle Stewart, it's a size eight. Nope, it's polyester. Isn't that pretty? Those colors are really pretty. Um, this is a BDG, which is Urban Outfitters house brand, cardigan, I don't know, nothing special, but I just thought it was really pretty. All right, here we go. We've got a Zara basic blazer, just button there. It is a one button kind of like tuxedo style. I looked it over pretty well. It's a size medium. Um, I looked it over pretty well in the Goodwill outlet because it's white and sometimes the colors show up 
not so great. Um, so hopefully it still looks good because it is dry clean only and I don't really want to pay to have it dry cleaned. Um, the new owner can do that. Uh, yeah, and white is so tough. In a Goodwill outlet, if you've never been before, just in general, you do really have to look over your items extremely well. As you can probably tell from some of my other videos, I still have items that I'm like, oh, this is wrong, or oh, this doesn't zip, or whatever the case is. Stains are the biggest one. It's so hard because the lighting is so terrible in there. Um, so yeah. Okay, this, I was, I, I picked it up. I think this is like the Caslon item. I think I just grabbed the two of them and threw them in. Um, this is a Unity World Wear. I maybe have only picked up, not even sure if I've ever sold the item, this once before, and there's actually a lot of loose strings on here. Um, so I clearly didn't look over this too well, speaking of items. But if I can cut those strings and make it look a little bit cuter, and I can at least get like $10 for it, game on. Okay, this Nicole gave to me. Thank you, Nicole. I've had like, what, two, three items now? Um, this is just a Miss Sony for Target. Um, blouse, shirt, whatever. Um, yeah, nothing special. I think the Miss Sony for Target stuff, it is varied. Some of the stuff does go for more than other stuff. I don't think that that's a highly sought after item, but somebody might be interested in it, so I picked it up. Okay, this, I'm not sure of the brand. I bought it for style and a little bit of nostalgia, um, which, gosh, I feel like, okay, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so the brand is called Double Horse. It's made in China. It's pure silk, and it's just a child's, you know, a uh, little traditional style jacket. Um, there is a little bit of staining on the front, but possibly could come out with a proper dry cleaning. I bought this because I had one of these when I was younger and I, oh, it's missing a button there, but that's okay. Um, I was like, is there an extra button in here? No. I still have mine, I believe. <laughs> that's a fun fact about me. I'm like, I'm not a hoarder, but I'm like a little bit a hoarder. So anyways, I'm pretty sure that my old coat is in my son's closet which is over there behind the camera. I'm not gonna go grab it, but I'm pretty sure it's in there. Okay, this is a Wilson's Leather Maxima coat. Sherpa, they call this, is this Sherpa? I don't know. Uh, what, what does it say here? Sorry, 100% leather. The lining is acrylic and nylon filler material polyester. Um, the coat does need some cleaning, but I have sold this style before. You know what it reminds me of? Have you ever seen the like meme or photograph of the Ikea monkey? If you've not, when you're done watching this video, because don't pause it, right? Just keep going. Um, or open another browser. But Google Ikea monkey, okay? And then hold these up next to each other. This is an Ikea monkey jacket. <laughs> It's a really cute monkey, so if you haven't seen it, look it up. Um, funny story, if I'm remembering correctly about Wilson's Leather, I think it's local to Washington. I might be wrong, but they had one in our local mall, and they always were running, like, st store going out of business sales. Like, there was always signs up, like, big banners that would say, like, going out of business or something like that. Um, and then they never were going out of business. They just always said they were to clear out inventory. And I'm fairly certain they got in trouble with the attorney general or the state for false advertising to customers that they were always going out of business. Um, and then I'm not sure if they actually are now, but that store is gone from my mall. So they finally reaped what they sow, 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 sown. <laughs> okay, this is another Halo sleep sack. This one's for a preemie cute um oh this one's fun speaking of stores that went out of business from my mall this is a cachet dress somebody did tell me in the comments thank you um that cachet is out of business so yeah i guess these are more coveted items look how pretty this is i don't know how the heck you wear this but um i'm gonna have to figure it out <laughs> but look how pretty i'm not displaying it the best but 
it's super pretty and look at this green it's not pretty okay um yeah so beautiful cache dress i had this bag sitting on the ground like i was sorting through stuff um when i got home and that was sitting on the ground and then my roomba was going and it was <laughs> trying to eat all these like little ribbons so that's not good um <clears throat> excuse me this is just a brass plum which is a nordstrom house brand size large I'm like mama went, might want to keep this pleated black skirt um so this style i was just in china in october and i went to beijing and shanghai and so i was trying to be really cognizant of like what are people wearing you know like what sort of styles because i feel like a lot of times um, you know, we end up following their trends. Um, same with like Europe, you know, pretty much anywhere. Right. And so I was like, I, you know, I was looking around at a lot of the ladies and trying to see what they were wearing. And so this style of skirt is what they were wearing. Like everybody, like everybody was wearing this and then they would match it with a big, um, oversized, like drapey sweater maybe like a lightweight sweater and it would maybe be tucked in or maybe with like a turtleneck. Um, so that was like one style that was really popular, but seriously these everywhere or, um, like ba or more like even ballerina style, big flowy and long, right? Maxi. That's what they were wearing. Um, also a lot of MCM, which is, um, the handbag MCM. Also, I saw a lot of like sportswear brands, Fila, Champion, Adidas, a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff, um, like Mickey, Minnie, a lot of that stuff. I can't remember what else that I saw there. I can't remember. Maybe it'll come to me. Okay, um, the last article of clothing that I got is this Eddie Bauer tank. Um, kind of actually a cute print there, and it is new with tags, so can't beat that. Okay, here's my big Ikea bag. So now onto the accessories. Um, this is kind of an accessory slash clothing item, but this is a new in bag. I think it's new. Um, I think they call this a petticoat. The brand is Sam's. It says 680 pound, 680 pound. Uh, it's a size small, um, but it appears to be new in the bag. So I did look up comps on it and they're pretty good. So sorry, I just hit my camera. So there's that. Um, I got some Ipsy bags, you know, I picked those up. How cute is this one? When did that one come out? That's super cute. This one was actually kind of nasty looking, but I threw it in the wash. So it actually cleaned up really nicely. I'm not sure if all Ipsy bags clean up that well, or if you can put them in there. Cause you know, sometimes, especially if they're canvas, they can um, get misshapen. So you want to be careful with that. Um, this one's actually really cute too. I like it that it's more of like a longer shape than the other one. So we will add these to the collection. Um, this is just a fossil leather crossbody bag. Um, I wasn't really familiar um, with fossil bags or fossil in general selling that well, just because I personally wasn't familiar with it uh, until I started selling it. And then I realized how well it actually sells. So um, if you do see fossil in good shape, it might be worth picking up. I'm saying it might because I don't want you to hold me to it. So I got this super nice coach bag. <laughs> um, you guys know I love a canvas bag. Uh, I'm trying to think who commented. Tori, uh, girly girl style. She's on YouTube, so you should check her out. Uh, she commented that I love a canvas bag, and I do. So this is a nice little coach one. I'll save it for when I have a coach purse to sell, and I'll just throw it in with. Hey, could you not lick yourself? Thank you. Um, this is, it's super beat up. I don't know if it was worth picking up, but I feel like I have something else of theirs. It does need to be cleaned up. Um, <clears throat> so I'll try reselling it, but the brand is Lotus and on the inside it says Lotus Los Angeles. Uh, just a little, what do they call it? Like it just is like a little smaller wallet. Um, this is a Christian Dior Cravates. I don't know silk tie. 
Um, there's a little string hanging off here, but it's just from the other tag. This is a little nostalgia if you're from Washington. Frederick and Nelson, sorry if that's not focusing. Frederick and Nelson um, was a local department store. I know we all have them in our hometowns that, that are now no longer. It turned into Macy's. Yeah, right? No, it didn't turn. I'm thinking of a different one. That was the bond. Sorry, don't roast me for that, okay? Frederick and Nelson is just another one. I used to go get my Christmas pictures taken at Frederick and Nelson when I was younger, so yeah. Um, here's another little Ipsy bag. That one's cute. Oh, I got another one too. Sorry. Um, this didn't have, I don't think this has a tag anywhere on it other than it saying it's made in China. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Rachel Pally. I'm not familiar with Rachel Pally, um, but it's a cute little clutch. I think I asked Ty and she said it used to be a good brand. So even used to might have a nice resale value. Okay, I can't remember who gave me this. Mm, Hillary? I wanna say Hillary gave me this bag. Bagalini? Um, you guys know I like selling a Bagalini bag. Um, they do sell well. Man, when I put these on Posh, Poshmark, I get a ton of likes. I know, that would surprise you. That just a little black crossbody travel bag, I get a lot of likes, and yes, I have sold Bagalini on Posh, so they're worth picking up for me. I don't know about you, but for me they are. That's actually another really cute Ipsy bag. I love that color of blue. Um, this is a Coach. I could put this in that little bag. It's like a little cosmetics bag. It's a little, little rough on the outside, but I'll clean it up. We'll bring it back to life. Here's another Ipsy bag. This one was fun. I got one of these. Um, it was like a collaboration that says Ipsy PC wit. I don't know. Maybe that's a designer. Anyways, it came with like markers and you could like color it in. So there's that. Um, this is a little Vera Bradley uh, eyeglass case. I think it's for like readers because it's pretty small. Um, is it a good buy? Yeah, it is. I just sold a Vera Bradley eyeglass case on eBay this morning. So for me, it's a good buy. Um, this is Vera Bradley, just like a little wallet canvas wallet actually might I was gonna say I'll throw it in the wash but that's not that bad um <laughs> this I picked up because of um whatever it was the last time that I went with Brittany to the bins and I got that Cavu Cavu bag that like cross body one and it had those I think they're called like paracords or whatever I don't know because that's what it says on here um which apparently you can undo from the bag if you're a survivalist. Anyways, I just saw these in a bin. I was like, Brittany, these are those things, right? These are those survival rope thingies. She said yes. Um, so anyways, uh, sorry, I keep, I have the fan going, so I'm like occasionally brushing hair out. Um, so anyways, these are some more of them. These are thems. And it looks like somebody ordered some from Amazon and never used them, so... I wonder if my brother could use these. My brother does a lot of outdoorsy type stuff. So I will ask him because he'll probably be up here in a few weeks. Okay, uh, I grabbed some more socks because I saw them. I might keep them for myself because they're just really cute. There's some Christmas ones. And this one is just like an anchor. There's another anchor. Is this a three pack? Is this the full three? Does it say three pack? ladies socks it's just got them here i don't know i've never heard of this brand ever bright it's probably nothing but they're my size so i'll probably keep them uh this is a tory birch eyeglass case again i think they are for readers this is a little j crew wallet that does you know that thing cute. This is a Marc Jacobs wallet. I feel like Brittany gave me this. Either she gave it to me or I grabbed it myself. I'm like, does that hold your phone? Um, I'll clean it up on the outside because it's just a little dusty, but the only flaw 
is that it doesn't have the rest of the zipper pull. I mean, that counts, but it's not a full zipper pull. So it is cute though, marked by Marc Jacobs. So there's that. Um, what else did I get? Okay, I got a pair of Chuka rain boots and they say Lucky on them. I can't remember, I did look them up. I don't think it's like a collab with Lucky, but I can't remember. But the comps were good. Oh my gosh, I just hit the camera again. Sorry, sorry to make you seasick. Um, oh, by the way, look at this. I need to dye my hair again. Can you see my roots? Yikes. I'm not afraid to show that on camera though. I'm 34, in case you're wondering. But I've had gray hairs since I was like in my 20s. My mom got them really early, so yeah, I need to take care of that. You know, it's just like when you work from home, <laughs> you put things off a little bit longer. I used to be, when I had my corporate job, I would be a little bit more on it, co coloring my hair. But when you're working from home, not so much. And I do color it myself because I'm cheap. And when I do it, it looks fine. I just use L'Oreal Preference, the like pinky color box, the one for gray coverage. So I use 4AR. I think I was using 4A for a while. I've gone back and forth between 4AR and 4A. So that's what this is, in case you're wondering. Okay, these, I think Ty gave me these. They're a really nice pair of Tevas. Why'd you give me these tied? They're too nice. With like um, a leather sole. And how unique is this color? These are super fun and really great condition. <clears throat> Excuse me, condition. So I'm going to clean them up and those are going to look pretty darn new. Okay, these I'll clean up, um, but they are a pair. There is another one. <laughs> I'm just not grabbing it. Um, these are a pair of bogs. If you're not familiar with bogs, where's the tag? These are a children's like rain and snow boot. Um, they're a great find for me, especially if you're finding them at the bins. Um, I usually sell them for, uh, I don't think any less than $20. I've sold them on Posh and eBay. So, and you might be thinking, well, these are pretty rough looking. I have sold rougher looking bogs. Um, they're just a nice child's boot. So uh, I, Think you should pick them up for me they're worth it um and then i usually just i don't do much to them i just clean up i just clean them up with like a lysol wipe that's all uh another great there is another one in here but i'm not going to grab it out but another great find is for me our native shoes um so this style i'm fairly certain because of kind of the way the coloring looks it's kind of bluey looking at the bottom there but i believe they're glow in the dark i'm like i wonder if i hold them to the light they'll show it all anyways I'm like, is it showing no <laughs> I need to give them I need to clean them up to make them a little bit brighter there um, but these are super easy to wash I just wash them in the sink with soap just my hands usually in soap um, so long as they're not too beat up which these are still in pretty good condition in my opinion these are great. My son has a pair. I have a pair. I love them. They're like so comfortable. It's like a cuter version of Crocs. Um, not hating on Crocs because I do like Crocs too. Um, so I do recommend picking them up. And then I think actually Native has a really cool program that um, regardless of what they look like, I believe you can send it back to them. I've never done it before, so you have to look into it. But I believe you can send your old Natives back and they recycle them and they turn them into children's like play um i was gonna say material but it, you know like um in um what's it called the little <laughs> the playground stuff the playground foam okay so that's why I, I believe don't quote me on that um i did find another pair of natives these ones are cute they have like a metallic sheen to them they are not glow in the dark they do need to be cleaned up so that's another pair of natives. Um, these, there's another one. These are a pair of Keen, uh, just like little sneakers. I think these are kids. They are size, no, it's a US 7. Dang, it just looks small. I wear a 10, so everything looks small. That's a seven? Okay, well they're in really good condition. So women's seven. Um, so that's those. I've got 
got one more binish, binish to show you. I'm like, right? What's that? That's not. Oh, yeah, I do have that. Ooh, hold on. I did get this. This is a J. Crew canvas bag. It needs to be kind of shaped again. It is a little dirty. Not, I mean, like, not dirty. I threw it in the wash, but it's just kind of stained. Like, the white is kind of discolored. If I wasn't so lazy, I could probably take, like, a bleach pen to the canvas, maybe. Um, I did put spray and wash on it. But, I, you know, I only want to take my effort so far. So, um, it is clean. It could be cleaned up better. But it's just a nice J. Crew like, I don't know, travel, beach, summary bag. This is a, just a Victoria's Secret bag it I'm not sure if like promotional items or something came in this it must have because the tag on here says $58 no who wants to pay 58 for that but yeah there must have been something else in here but anyways just a little denim bag okay this hat I just thought looked really cool it says coal on it so I looked it up and it says Coal headwear designed in Seattle, Washington. So it does look like it's a cool local brand. So I just thought that was a nice men's hat. Okay, um, this I saw when I was kind of starting to head out, I think. This is just a Kate Spade bag. You can see it there. I wasn't sure if it was real, but then the detailing on here um, is just so nice that I, I do believe it is real. Um, <clears throat> you can see right here this is it's cool it unclasps there so if you want to make it bigger well and then to unzip it and then there is these it's a little bit of bubbling there so um ooh, and then there's some tearing there so you know i'm obviously not going to ask a lot for this um but i wasn't going to pass it up And it pulls down there. Okay, um, this is super beat up. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, but comps were kind of interesting on it. Excuse me. Um, it's just a vintage briefcase. Uh, Schle Schlesinger is the brand, made in USA. Obviously, some of these sold for a lot. I'm not sure that mine will sell for a ton but I think I'll make some money on it. Uh, this is a roadie. <laughs> it's not blown up, um, but it doesn't have any holes in it. Um, these do have a fairly good resale value. It's like a little kid's bouncy horse. Okay, the last couple of things um, I felt like I saved till the end were kind of fun ones. Um, so this I saw when I first walked in. I was not familiar with the brand, but it looked really nice. So it's called can't see it there ampersand as apostrophe okay so it's this kind of neon yellow bag leather super nice um, I looked up the comps and they're actually really good um, I do need to clean the bag up but if you're not familiar with that brand Bolo um, so actually I'm not sure this last one two ish items I'm not sure if it came from this nylon Jansport bag that I picked up or that J Crew bag that I picked up. However, when I was washing those, because I washed the backpack also, <clears throat> when I went to move stuff to the dryer, I saw something in the washer that I was like, I don't know, I don't know what that is. Like, where'd that come from? I didn't pick these up. And it was a pair of sunglasses. Okay? Pretty cute. Um, <clears throat> the brand is called Maui Gym, which I wasn't familiar with um they're men's but they're kind of cute um so anyway they're Maui Jim the style number there was a style number in here so it's Coco and I looked it up and the comps are really good um <laughs> so I was loud. um I looked up the comps and there was eight used pair that had been for sale and all eight sold and the average sold price was hundred and one dollars so stoked about these that my best find was something I didn't even find so yeah that is my haul um 
I'm trying to think if I have anything else that I want to add. I think I might go back to the bins tomorrow. So my goal is to photograph all of that today. So that's why I'm doing this haul now because I really want to just get this done with. Um, so I'll probably go back to the bins tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I get some good stuff then. Um, I hope you guys had a really great Thanksgiving. We had all of our family over at our house. My husband does all of the cooking. I mean, he had people bring dishes and stuff, but he does the turkey and everything like that. So I'm really thankful for him. I just clean. That's my um, contribution in our relationship. Um, thank you for everyone who said really nice stuff about my last video with my son, Oliver. He was so tickled pink when I told him all of the nice comments that people said. Um, I really do appreciate that. And of course, you know, it means so much and it's so special when you're a child to um, do something like that fun with your parents and then have people say nice things so anyways that's all for my video if you liked it hey give me a thumbs up you know counteract that person who's gonna give me a thumbs down I appreciate it all right I'll talk to you guys later bye